Welcome to this crash course in neurons. We'll try to explain what neurons are and how they work in less than three minutes. We'll also squeeze in a neuron disease, try and talk about Stephen Hawking's and a new neural breakthrough. Neurons are cells that have adapted to transmit nerve impulses. And there are basically three types of neurons sensory neurons, intermediate neurons, and motor neurons. Sensory neurons receive impulses and send them over to integration neurons, which processes the information and decides on an action. Motor neurons take the decision and gives it to the mass. This simple process is the basis for how we think, how we read, and how we type or write. Basically, it's the basis for how we do anything. The central nervous system is the main processing unit of your body and it's made up of your brain and your spinal cord which are basically just neurons working together. You also have a peripheral nervous system which is just neurons that extend from your brain and spinal cord to other parts of your body. Neuron is multiple short dendrites to collect information and one long axon to transfer information to other neurons. Amongst the neurons are other cells called glial cells which are there to support the neuron and help it achieve its daily tasks. Astrocytes are glial cells that help neurons get nutrients from capillaries. Neurons are extremely long living cells and some of them can live for your whole life. They can also not be replaced. They do not divide and you are born with all your neurons. Neurons need a lot of energy to keep moving and your brain alone uses almost 25% of all the calories you take in per day. Multipolar neurons have multiple extensions of processes coming from their bodies and are the most abundant. They can be found in the brain and spinal cord. Bipolar neurons only have two extensions coming from their bodies and are the most rare. They can be found in the eye. Unipolar neurons only have a single extension of process coming from its body. They are mostly found in the spinal cord. Next, we're going to talk about a neuron disease called amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. ALS occurs when motor neurons degrade and die, and victims are unable to use their muscles. Symptoms include trouble grasping objects, change in vocal pitch, muscle weakness, slurred speech, and sometimes even trouble breathing. ALS can be caused by gene mutations, chemical imbalance, protein mishandling, or disorganized immune response. There is currently no cure for ALS, but a new drug shows promise in reducing damage done to neurons. Now let's talk about Stephen Hawking, who is a theoretical physicist diagnosed at the age of 21 with ALS, and even though doctors told him he only has 2 years to live, he today is 73 years old. A new high-resolution mapping technique allows scientists to view the complex architecture of the brain. You can now tell which circuits are responsible for specific tasks. Circuits from healthy brains can be compared to circuits from brains with neurological diseases. Revealing the differences between these two circuits could be key in figuring out how they work and how to cure diseases involving neurons in the brain and other parts of the body. Science has long dreamed of figuring out how the brain works and with high-resolution mapping this could be possible. Thank you for watching, we hope this video has helped you learn a lot about your neurons and how your body works.